Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The development of Netra AWNC Mark 1 has been quite interesting. If you look at the manufacturers of airborne early warning system around the world, most of them are also aircraft manufacturers, for example Saab or Boeing. India has been exception beat Falcon Avox or Netra AWNC. Therefore, DRDO had to face a lot of challenges in developing Netra AWNC as for many activities they have to be dependent on the aircraft manufacturers. Now in order to enhance the aerial surveillance and combat capability of Air Force, the Cabinet Committee on Security on September 2021 approved a project to build six airborne early warning system at a cost of 10,990 crore. This project was called as Netra Mark II and will be developed on pre-owned Airbus A321 aircraft from Air India which is bigger and much powerful platform than Embraer 145. The AWNC will feature gallium nitride based TR modules. While Netra Mark I has coverage of 240 degrees, Mark II will have coverage of 300 degrees. The primary radar is going to be based on four-dimensional AESA multi-mode radar that is it can operate in air-to-air -air and air-to-sea mode and will consist of two radars operating in S-band and X-band respectively. The new radar will also be able to track the ballistic missiles and details of the same can be relayed back to the ground stations. This new improvement will further enhance India's anti-ballistic missile tracking capability. The dorsal system, like Nitra Mark 1, will have two active antenna array units assembled back to back and mounted on top of the fuselage, providing coverage of 240 degrees. The second AAC radar is placed at the nose cone, providing coverage of plus minus 30 degrees in azimuth. Both radars are also integrated with IFF. The other improvements can be seen in the self protection suite, which will feature dual color missile approach warning system. The aircraft will have operating attitude of 30,000 feet, endurance of more than 6 hours with 45 minutes of reserve fuel. It will incorporate SATCOM, data link, IFF, electronic countermeasures, self protection suite, chaff dispenser and dual auxiliary power unit. The Yatra Mark 2 mission systems have enhanced communication technologies catering for higher data rates and encryption capabilities and integration with Integrated Air Command and Control System IACCS. IACCS, as we all know, is an automated air defense command and control center for controlling and monitoring air operations by Indian Air Force. In summary, it is an eye of Indian Air Force which is having watch over entire Indian airspace. The integration of sensors and avionics on the first A321 testbed has already started. During Aero India Show 2023, as per our interaction with DRD officials, the delivery of Netra Mark II will commence from 2025 onwards and all six Netra Mark II AWNC will be delivered by 2028. Indian Air Force is also pushing for six more Netra AWNC based on the proven platform of Embraer 145. However, they will feature gallium nitride based AS radar which will be more powerful than existing Netra Mark 1. As per the 21st September 2023 report, the Indian Air Force officials told ANI that two of the Netra AWNC surveillance aircraft also known as the Eyes in the Sky are already in service with Indian Air Force after being developed by DRDO. There is now plan to build six more of these aircraft for which groundwork has already started. The DRDO and Indian Air Force officials have already started looking for sources to acquire the Embraer ERJ-145 aircraft to modify them for carrying radar on it after modification. So in summary, Indian Air Force is going to get 13 more AWNC aircraft in coming 5 to 10 years. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.